Hey everyone, welcome back after far too long. Um, if you hear noises in the background, I apologize. My dog, Addie, has decided she wants to come in and say hey. Today, for the first video back in far too long, it's been a year and a half, almost two years. I've had a lot going on and just I'm not making excuses. I just, I, I didn't, didn't fill up to it. And every time I thought I would film, something happened. Um, so, I'm glad you're back. Uh, today, for the first video back, I've got a massive Dollar Tree makeup haul. There's also some other stuff in here. This I'll go through really quick, just bits and bobs. But this box, ah, that drops it. Um, it's freaking huge, and it's full of pretty much nothing but makeup um, that I got, and a lot of it really good makeup. So, without any further ado, let's jump into it, because this is going to be really long if I don't. Um, the first couple things I got, which are not makeup related, I'm going to get those out of the way first, were a couple sets of baskets um, for organizing my makeup in my desk just because those make it a lot easier. Um, the long ones are really good for like pencils, mascaras, brushes, that sort of thing. And then the shorter ones are good for like single eyeshadows, face powders, blushers, etc, etc. Then I got two of these little drawer sets because these are great for potted lip glosses and sample sizes. I've actually got one in pink that I use for um, like my Corez lip balms and my e.l.f. Uh, tinted lip balms and that kind of thing now. Just because they're the drawers are just the perfect size for it and they keep them nice and neat and, and organized. And then I got some cotton pads. I know, really schmancy, really exciting. Um, a nail buffing block. And then I got a travel nail file that actually came with a case to go in my pocketbook. And it was a dollar, so I don't know how well it's going to work. But I found a damage repair with Argan Oil and Vitamin E Protects and Shine Sulfate Free uh, Extreme Corrective Hair Treatment by Salon Selectives. And I've used some of their stuff before from the Dollar Tree and really, really liked it. So I was like, eh, why not? It's a dollar. So I got that. Now, on to the fun stuff, the makeup. Um, I'm not going to swatch everything for you. I might swatch a couple things just because if I swatch everything, we will be here literally all day. Um... But the first thing I got was actually this little e.l.f. smudge pot in the color Ain't That Sweet, which it is a really pretty kind of a shell pinky nude color. Um, you can see that there. But I really like these to use as, ah, out of the shot, to use as eyeshadow bases um, and sometimes even just on their own. Um, and they're, they are awesome for that. So that was the first makeup item. And then there are a couple other things by e.l.f. Um, the next one I got was one of their lip balm tints. And I actually got two of these. Where did the other one go? I got this one in grapefruit, which is a pink color. And then I got one that is a nude color. It was actually called nude. And I love these because they give just a little bit of color um, and a lot of moisture. So on days whenever I'm just not feeling, which is rare, but on, when I'm not feeling up to a, a full lip, that kind of thing, these are really, really nice to have to hand. Um, it's really bugging me that I can't find the other one because I really wanted to show it to you. It should have been in here. And it's not. Of course it's not. Um, I got this e.l.f. Sangria Starters Jumbo Lip Gloss Pencil that looks like that. I'm going to try to get it out of here real quick. Um, most of the stuff I did open because the packaging on it was pretty intense. Um, they actually glued the tabs down before they put them out to, um, to prevent theft. So, but this is what Sangria Starters looks like. And I'm going to be honest, I've never tried one of these, but I thought the color was really pretty. So I said, why not? Now I plan on doing, um, a more a swatch video actually of this stuff later um i just you know i know that if i try to do it today it's going to be an absolute nightmare because there's so much stuff yay found the other elf um lip balm tint is what they're actually called and this one is called nude and as you might guess it's just a really pretty nude color kind of a, a brownie peachy nude and they smell great it's not like vanilla frosting or cupcakes or something like that. Okay, then I got three different blushers from e.l.f. I got one of the, just the e.l.f. blushes that has a small mirror in it. And this color is called Pink Passion. Which is a really, get the film out there. It's a really bright 
bright pink color. I don't know if the color's not really translating that well on camera. But these are really great blushes. They're really, really pigmented. Um, you have to kind of be careful with these because they're really easy to get too much. Really, really easy. Um, so you need to use a light hand with them or something like a stippling brush. And then I found two of the e.l.f. HD blushes, which are the cream blushes that come on a bottle with a pump. And I got them in the colors Showstopper, which is not wanting to come out, um, which is this really dark plummy color. Um, I honestly don't know if this is going to work for me, but I thought for like Halloween or really intense makeup looks that would work. And then the other one I got is in Encore, which is a hot pink color. Which, if you use the tiniest bit of this, it will go really well. I have a couple of these already, um, and I absolutely love them. Then I found um, Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigments. I found it in the color Buff and Tough. And I went ahead and got both of the ones that they had in stock in the Buff and Tough. You see me looking in this place in the mirror. I just want to make sure everything's in frame. Um, this is really pretty brown pigment. Um... They were a dollar. These are still, you can't find them anymore um, in regular stores. At least I haven't been able to. But I know they were like $6 a piece whenever they were in regular stores. And then I found something and I was like, huh, I have to try that. Um, and it's by Maybelline again. It's their Super Away Lip Color Remover. And it just looks like, and of course I dropped it on the floor. Be right back. It just looks like this. It looks like a tube of lip balm. But it's like a, um... It's like an oil that you can put on for whenever you're doing swatches or if you're having if you have a lip color that's really hard to get off you use this to get all the traces of it away then i found and i was really 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 excited about these um the dollar tree at my house this was from two all this stuff came from two different dollar trees um and the dollar tree at my house actually had these and they are the milani bella eyes gel powder eyeshadows and I was able to pick up 11 of these now they do still carry these in the store but they've gone to a nude range these were all the colors and I got Bella purple which is as you might have guessed a really pretty deep dark purple color should have removed all the packaging off these I'm sorry um it looks like that which is this gorgeous deep deep purple color I've got Bella Fuchsia, which is a hot pink color. And I love hot pink eyeshadows, so I really can't wait to try this out. I can't wait to try all of them out because I know they're going to be absolutely fantastic. Like I said, I'll do a swatch video of these later. Um, today, it's just like, you know, everything I got. Like if, I, if I tried to swatch everything today, we'd be here forever because there's still like two-thirds of this box over here. This one is called Bella Sky, which is just a really pretty pale blue color. We've got Bella Pink, which is, guess what, a soft pink color. Never would have guessed that from the name, would you? Um, but it's just really pretty. Um, of course, it's looking white because my lights are so bright. I'm sorry. Um, it's just this really pretty soft baby pink color. Found Bella Violet, which is more of a blue base purple and kind of a mid-tone purple instead of that... Uh, the dark purple I showed you earlier and it looks like that wow it's really pulling blue in my lights I'm gonna have to find some different lights to, to actually remember I swatch these um then I got Bella Navy which of course is a dark navy blue that doesn't want to open for me why why are they making things difficult it is that color there these are they're so gorgeous and I'm so excited to get my hands on them because I've wanted them for a while um and I just you know I just hadn't picked them up and I think I actually got 10 of them I accidentally bought Bella Sky twice um which is fine because it's a gorgeous color and I'll end up using it it's a Cinderella blue color that I showed you a minute ago um this one is called Bella Gray and it is a medium gray kind of smoky color it's super pretty. All of these are super pretty. Uh, this one is Bella Silver, which is a sparkly silver gray color. Then I have Bella Cobalt, which is a D3 
deep mid-tone blue color which is just oh, that is beautiful I I so can't wait because it is so gorgeous and then the last one I got is actually Bella Teal which is this beautiful blue green color the whenever I saw it I was like oh my god I have to have it um, kind of reminds me of peacock feathers, honestly. Um, like I said, the lights are not doing them justice. But those were the 10 colors. Got 11 of them, but 10 colors I got in the Bella Gel eyeshadows. And then I found two Milani lip pencils and two Milani eye pencils. I'm having to dig them out because they ran away in the bottom of this box of chaos over here. I got the Easy Liner for Lips in Kokomo, which is kind of a, a dark brown color. And I don't have many lipsticks like this, but I do have a few, and I always want a lip liner with them because they kind of tend to feather. So, and I didn't have one, so when I found that one, I said, okay, I got this. And then I got the Easy Liner in Most Natural, which is just this, looks like it's going to be a really pretty nude color for whenever I do a nude lip. And then for the... Oh, I think I got three lip liners. And then I got rose pink, which is a deep pink color. I was thinking one of those browns was an eyeliner. I'm sorry. And then I, for the eyes, I found one of their Easy Liner for Eyes glitter eye pencils. with a built, It's retractable and purple quartz. has a smudger on one end. Um, and I haven't opened these at all yet, as you can tell. But it's just a really pretty purple color. I love purple eyeliners. Um, then the rest of this, everything else in here is wet and wild. All of it, um, which is kind of crazy whenever you think about it, but it's super awesome, especially whenever you see. Ah, I take that back. I had two more Milani things. Um, I actually found the crystal lip glosses, and this color is called. I'm not going to tell you what this color is called because it's not on here. It's the gold one. It is a gold lip gloss. It's a metallic gold. I had to have it. And the other one is a glittery red color, which is just, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And I cannot wait to wear that because I'm all about some red glossy lips. Okay, that's the end of everything that's not wet and wild. On to the wet and wild stuff. Um, I went into one and found a couple of things. Um, I found some of their eyeliner or some of their eye brushes, which are the new ones that are the white and pink. And I went a little crazy. I ended up getting eight of them total. I got one angled liner brush, and I love their their brushes. I have I've never had any problems out of them. Uh, I did get multiples of the rest of these. I got two large concealer brushes, which I don't actually use for concealer. They look like that. Um, I like to actually use them for like packing on loose pigment. And then I got two of their large eyeshadow brushes which they look like that and then I got three of the blender brushes which are crease brushes uh, they're called crease brushes which part of the reason why I got three of these is because my crease brushes are always the things that I dirty up the fastest um, and my, of course my shader brushes which is why I got so many of the large ones but these brushes are just so awesome they're so soft they're white they've got that real pale pink tip on them and then they've got this little divot here for your finger which helps you you know hold on to the brush and actually gives you a little bit more control um i've got the original just plain black ones that i use rather frequently so i was really excited to find those because i hadn't been able to find them in like walmart or anywhere and then i found um their lip liners which i know these are only like a dollar at walmart too but i was still excited to find them at the dollar tree these i did get two lip liners <laughs> and an eyeliner in I got the lip liners in, let's see here, I'm trying to get this other one out and it's not wanting to come out. The thing I love about Wet n Wild too, while I'm fighting with this packaging, is the fact that they are cruelty free and they are so inexpensive and so much of their stuff is really good product. Um, I know I was talking actually with my grandma about it this weekend and she was like, well, I always thought that their stuff was really bad and I was like, well, back in the day, it wasn't really bad, but it wasn't the greatest in the world. And, you know, and it's still not the perfect makeup brand. No makeup brand is. But, I mean, for the price you pay, they're really, really good. But I got the lip liners in Brandywine, which is this deep kind of plummy brown color. 
and then Willow, which is this gorgeous kind of caramel colored um, nude. And I actually used to have Willow and I don't know what happened to it. So whenever I found it, I was like, oh, have to have it, have to have it. And then I found um, one of their Cole eye pencils and this is called Calling Your Buff. I'm not even gonna fight with packaging on this. Um, it's just a nice nude eyeliner for your inner rim. For on days when you want to open your eyes up. Um, now on to the rest of the exciting stuff. Went into Dollar Tree, not by my house, but not far from my house. And they had literally the entire, almost entire, Fergie collection for Wet n Wild. The center stage collection. Uh, and whenever I say almost entire, I mean, I think the only thing they were really missing was like concealer and foundation and the primers. Um, because I got all the rest of this is nothing but Fergie stuff. And I think the most exciting thing is I actually found one of the large eyeshadow palettes. This is in Paris Runway and it's all purples. It is 10 eyeshadows. It is absolutely gorgeous. I know that this retailed for around $10 um, when you could find them in regular stores and I got it for a dollar. And then we got, or I got rather, two of the center stage blushes. This is the around the clock blush. This is in Brush with Destiny, which is just this gorgeous kind of peachy nude color, which I think is going to be absolutely stunning. And then I found also the Round the Clock Blush in Brush with Danger, which I think that the name is just funny. And it's a hot pink color. Um, it's pulling up paler pink on there than it is in, in real life. Um, but it is insanely hot pink and it is gorgeous and the packaging on these are, are really nice too especially for you know wet and wild makeup it's just sleek plaque black plaque black with silver writing um and then i found one two three four of the center stage photo op eyeshadow palettes these have five eyeshadows each in them and I found Bulletproof Glide, which is, and each of these comes with a little sponge tip applicator, which don't throw those away. Um, they're great for packing on like creamy shadows and that kind of thing. Um, but this one is the Bulletproof Glide and it has got kind of a couple brownie nudes, um, or a brownie nude, a really nice like creamy color, a dark gray with glitter, a light silver and a black. So that again is Bulletproof Glide. I've got here Duchess Lounge, which is a purple one. And it has got the silver, dark, kind of mid-tone purple with a lot of like hot pink glitter in it. A brownie, plumier purple with dark purple glitter in it. A more almost black purple with a blue purple glitter in it and then a, a blue based a really blue purple there in the center and all the center shadows on these are embossed with the Fergie F and then the rest of them are kind of embossed with what looks like shattered glass patterns which I think is really pretty and we've got Metropolitan Nights sorry they have the names on these in a really little writing in the corner it's kind of hard to find um, Metropolitan Nights has this really gorgeous gold color and a kind of khaki color a really nice cream shade, a black, and then a dark kind of black green with gold glitter in it. And that is Center Stage Nights. And then this one is Camouflage Couture. Um, I think this one might actually be one of the ones I'm most excited about. And it's pretty much all greens. You've got um, a light green here, a bright green, and then a really dark one, an olive green, and a kind of a, a gold color there in the middle. And that's going to just be so so gorgeous and I'm sorry I'm rushing through this but like I said I've got a lot to get through um I did get a wet and wild double ended pencil sharpener or double headed pencil sharpener um I got one of their single eyeshadows in brulee or cream brulee not just just brulee uh, and this is actually an exact dupe for the mac eyeshadow in brulee so if you want that one just go get this one it's only a dollar um and even if you get it at Walmart, it's only a dollar. And I found one of their Mega Wear Mascaras, which I'm really excited to try because I tried one a while back and really liked it. It was really inexpensive. Then more from the Fergie collection, I found the uh, Take the Day On Mattifying Powder in the color Pedestal. And it's just a, a white translucent setting powder, which would be nice to just throw in my bag. 
I got two of the to reflect shimmer palettes. Uh, this one is Hollywood Boulevard, which is just gorgeous kind of gold, pink, and brown marbled highlighter. Um, yeah, I can't wait to try it out. And this one's going to be too orange for my face. I, I know it is, but I'm probably going to end up using this as an eyeshadow because it was so gorgeous. I couldn't pass it up. And this one is in the color Carnival in Rio. And it's really, it looks more kind of yellow on there, but it's really, really orange in, in person. Um, and it's got just kind of champagne and, and dark brown swirls cut through it. Um, got one eyeliner. I bought two of these because it's one of my favorite colors. Um, actually have one over there that, this is actually the one I already had. Uh, one of those because they were backups. It's called Hyper Sky. And it's just this gorgeous bright blue color. I got a lip gloss, Perfect Pout lip gloss in the color Fergalicious, Fergalicious, excuse me. And it's just this really pretty goldy kind of champagne-y color. I got three of her, what are they called here? Fergie Center Stage Collection Perfect Pout Lip Colors. Um, and I, I already had two of these, so, you know, I knew that they were wonderful. I knew I was not getting hurt at all um, by getting them. And, you know, even if they weren't really good lipsticks, which they are, they're amazing, they were a dollar. So it didn't, you know, wasn't that big a deal. This one is called FOMO, which is just a beautiful, light, kind of peachy nude color which I cannot wait to try, honestly. I've been loving nudes lately, and I don't know why, because, you know, those of you who know me know I'm all about a bright lip. This one here, which is a, a darker, kind of brownie, peachy nude color, is called Bebop Love. I'm just trying to get the packaging off here so that I can open it and show it to you. And it's kind of a darker... Kind of a rosy brown. I know that sounds weird, but that's the best way. I suck at describing colors. That's the best way I know how to describe it. And the last one is a bright, bright red, which is, you know, more what I wear on the daily. I just ruined my nail polish. My nail polish stood up to working last night and showering this morning and romping with my dog, but not to opening lipsticks. Not to opening lipsticks, not at all. Um, this one is called Turnt Up. It's just a gorgeous bright red. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the matte lip pencils. Um, and I'll admit that one of these, I, whenever I grabbed it, I thought was it an eyeshadow, but I'm perfectly okay with the fact that it is a lipstick. Um, these are also really great. I had two that I had bought previously at Walgreens and absolutely loved them, so had no problem buying all of these either. Um, these are the Velvet Matte Lip Colors in, obviously, the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection. This one is called The Standout. This is the one I thought was an eyeshadow. Um, it's actually a really pale lavender color, um, which I'm really excited to try because I love fun out there colors. This one is called Pinky Candy. This one is Nude Muse, which is going to be just a, a really pretty pale nude color. Then we've got Timeless Chick, which this is actually one that I think I... No, this is not one that I had. It looks similar to one that I had. Um, and it's just a brownie nude, and it is gorgeous. Then we've got... Plum Genou, which is of course going to be a plummy color. It's so, so pretty. These are these are gorgeous and the color payoff is awesome. I'll actually swatch one of them here in a minute for you so I can show you. This one's called DJ Doll and it's kind of a, a dark orangey coral color. Um, it looks red there, which is really strange. It's actually more of a, an orangey coral. Um, and then this one is too pale for me. I've already tried it. Um, it's called Creamsicle Kitty. I think I could do it with a little bit more tan or if I bronze my face up. It's it's a gorgeous color. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just a little bit too, um, 
it's a neon coral color. That's the word I'm looking for. But it's absolutely beautiful. And then I found seven, must be something about the number seven, of the Vicious Varnish High Shine Lip Stains. And one of these I've already opened. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Um, I absolutely love it. I wore it the other day and got so many compliments on it. It's the color Flawless, which is this bright, bright pink color. And it doesn't, it's not as bright whenever you put it on as it looks in the tube. I mean, yes, it is bright. It's gorgeous. Um, they've just got these little doe foot applicators. It, they've got a really moisturizing feel to them, um, which I've, a lot of lip stains I've tried don't. The staying power wasn't that great on them, but my lips did have a little bit of a pink stain once it was done, so I was fine with it. Again, that's flawless, and it is a flawless pink. Then we have got Voguing Madness, which looks like it's an uh, orange-red color. We have got Global Fierceness, which is this dark plummy red color. We have got Ball in Vienna, which is a bright fuchsia pink, almost like a Barbie pink color. We have got Legendary Face, which is this gorgeous kind of caramel nude color. We've got Giving Realness, which is a really, really just pale true nude color. The color of this reminds me a lot of Max Boy Bait. Um, so I will probably end up swatching this beside Boy Bait and let y'all know how that works out. And then we've got Runway Red, which is just a true red color. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Massive box, empty. Ooh. They are so, so gorgeous. If you just heard that, Addie's asleep behind me. She's totally yipping in her sleep. She's so sweet. Anyway, um, let me know what you want me to swatch first for you and I will get that swatch video